let's go ahead and let's talk about multiplayer and strategy. So one thing I will say that I like about this new Forza Motorsport online is that there is practice, there's qualifying, and there's strategy built in. Um, I love this. So let's go ahead and just start with their initial intro races. I want to show you a couple of things if you're not aware that could help improve your multiplayer experience. And it comes down to qualifying, tire management, and what tire compounds to use for when. All right. So in the game, we have they have added um, soft, medium, hard, wet tires. What they don't tell you maybe not off the bat if you're not a racing um, aficionado is that if you're doing qualifying you definitely want to be on the softest compound so you can get the best traction and best performance out of the car however you also need to know what your tire wear per lap is because when you're going into an actual race the last thing you want to do is take a soft tire into a track that really eats up soft tires so let's go ahead and let's look at our car let's go to fuel and tire now the race itself is eight laps but we're taking way too much fuel if you're doing just qualifying only take about three gallon three laps worth of fuel with you do not take the whole you know tank you don't need it it'll slow you down and also if you're doing qualifying go to soft go to notice how on medium our lap time is 59 seconds and 905 on soft is 59 seconds 038 so initially a 0.5 second difference per tire is what we shaved off so go ahead and run softs bring your tire your fuel load to as low as you can to get three laps out because your first initial lap won't be as good your second lap would be probably your best and if you need to really find that last millisecond of performance that third lap with as little fuel carry as, as you have left will get you that extra second that extra millisecond of, uh, of performance. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and jump into um, qualifying. And I always do qualifying first because you already know what's gonna happen with the tire. The softest tire, the lowest fuel is gonna get you the fastest time. So you don't need to really do any mathematic calculations. Just get out there and race. So let's start and uh, let's just see what kind of times you can put down. Our goal here is to always be P1. All right, we already got P1 down.
after so, after qualifying, we are now P1. We have a point one, you know, lead advantage over the second place individual. So now that we know where our respective qualifying ranges, now we need to do the next part, which is figure out how much tire wear is happening per lap between a medium and a soft. Okay, so we're gonna go into car, we're gonna go back into our tire, we're gonna keep the lap the same because we wanna know what is our two lap tire wear drop off because if it's an eight lap race and you go two laps and you know how much tire wear you have, you can just multiply it by four and get an idea of where the tire would be close to race end. So we're gonna go back to soft, we're gonna go into race, we're gonna go into practice, and we're going to just figure out where we can get the most performance for the longest duration of the race. And I can already as predict, I haven't done this a couple times, I haven't you know followed motorsport for a while. What's gonna probably happen is that the soft tire is gonna give us a lot of grip and performance off top, but then it's gonna drop off pretty much after lap three or four. So to see this, let's go ahead and press down the D-pad to bring up telemetry. Let's tap over until we get to tire and miscellaneous. And you wanna look at wear. Okay, so right now just starting, we are 3% wear into the lap. And what we wanna do, just drive normally and just see after each lap, how much tire wear are you accounting for? Or are you causing? Because everybody's driving style is different. Some are more smooth, some are more aggressive but you wanna see just based on your driving style, where are you um, using up the most tire and how much tire are you using per lap? Because I promise you, with different conditions, based on what they've been saying that the game is doing, with different conditions, different tire temperatures and different um, surface temperatures, the tire may last longer or less than certain laps so after a lap we're looking at about 13 percent let's give it a full so let's remember 13 percent is after one lap let's see if if we're consistent enough will it be 26 percent after this, this current lap we're on if that's the case then 26 percent after two laps you are not going to you're going to basically have a burnt out tire by the end of this eight lap race which i don't think anybody wants to do so we're just gonna figure out where our tire compounds are. And you might have to do this for every track you're on, but luckily you have about a 10 minute window to not only do your qualifying, but also do your tire test. But here we are, we're, we're getting close to the final, uh, the final turn, and we're looking at 22, uh, 22%. 23%, so essentially, let's call it 24%. In the span of two laps, we have used up a quarter of our tire health. And now remember, that quarter, that, that three thirds that are left, they're going to drop off and drop off until you get to the final two laps and your tires will be just shot. So seeing how this is, we're gonna pull back into the pits and we're going to try the medium tire and see how long they last after a three lap um, adventure. So let's go ahead and bring this back into the into the pits. Let's turn off our telemetry. And if you remember, our gas that we started with, we started with eight laps and we're already at zero. So which kind of lets me know that with eight laps, if you only get eight laps of fuel in your car for this race, you might run out of fuel towards the end. Um, so let's go into let's go into mediums. Let's do another uh, three uh, laps worth of fuel, and let's get back out there and let's see how long this should last. Now. Just a little gripe. I know we were, we were, this is their idea of a pit stop, but man, if I can't see the actual pit crew moving tires, what's the point? And it looks like we made a mistake here. 
we don't have any gas so let's go ahead and uh let's skip a lap and see if we will get anything new in terms of ah uh, stop 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 let's dip into the pits by the way that is a way to get out of doing a full lap uh, you go into skip a lap and it will bring you towards the beginning rolling start of the second lap. So let's go ahead and get some gas. Um, I made a mistake. Uh, we'll go back to mediums. We will do... Um, dang, I only wanted... I only wanted like a couple tanks of gas, but whatever. We'll, we'll do six laps. Um, the, the goal here is to just see the tire wear for medium so i don't really care how much gas we're really holding in it will slow us down in terms of our initial time per lap but i don't think that needs to be really um, calculated into this experiment though more weight equals more wear i'm not sure just how much that will influence our tire wear but we're back at it let's go ahead and take a look to them oh let's take a look at telemetry and we're already looking at 1.9 percent wear so let's go ahead and just finish a lap and see where our tire wear will land i will say i love this track it just flows so well outside of some features that we've lost in forza motorsport compared to forza motorsport 7 the actual racing aspect of this game is still solid it's really solid and this introduction of a practice and a qualifying for multiplayer, it is honestly a well-deserved um, addition. So after one lap, we're looking at 6.6% .6 tire wear, which is really good because the last one we were looking at somewhere in the nines. Um, so let's go ahead and finish a full lap. Let's see how much more tire wear we'll add to it. I also do like these radio uh, crew call-outs that you're getting in the game. I mean, it's not like Formula One um, 22 or 23 radio call-outs, but it does add more immersion to the game um, that isn't there already. And here comes a Yahoo who doesn't know how to drive, ramming into people. But then again, it's Forza. It's day one. Not day one, essentially, but, you know... Everybody got it on Game Pass, so everybody's going to go spam, and some people are not the best drivers. All right, here we go. So after two laps, we're looking at 14% tire wear, which is phenomenal. Now, are we getting the most laps out of this? Definitely not. But are we saving tires? Yes. And that's what we want to know. We want to know just how much tire wear we can expect after two laps of, of just hard racing. And if to be if to being two laps in and only seeing 18% tire wear at the moment uh, gives me a lot of confidence that going into the race, the medium tire will be the best strategy to pick. Right, let's go ahead and just finish this current lap. And we should see roughly a decent tire to take with us into the race so three laps in barely 22 percent tire wear we we're looking at like 26 with the with the softs before i believe so yeah if you're gonna go do yourself a practice see what kind of tires are are working best on what conditions and you never know, based on different time of day, different track temperatures, the soft just might be the tire to take. But for right now, in these conditions, it looks like the medium with maybe one extra lap of fuel is our ideal setup. So let's go ahead. Let's take it back into the pits. Um, let's see when the race starts what we're looking at. And also, with a medium tire, we're only really... 0.5 off of our lap time that we were hitting so off of the softs we're still pretty good fifth with uh, just fastest lap on a medium 
we can live with that. Because once the race starts, a lot of people are going to... Um, are probably going to run... They're going to probably come in running um, softs. But they'll get the jump initially. But then where we'll catch them is that when their tires start to drop off, we're going to be picking up a lot of pace. We're picking up a lot of um, performance still while they're dropping off. And we can essentially just pass them in the turns. And uh, yeah, hopefully that will be our our goal. And that will be the result that we get. Um, all right, here we go. We're going to start the race. Uh, we're going to see where we were in terms of qualifying. I'm pretty sure we're in the top three in terms of quality. So P3 probably. Let's take a look. P1, P2, P3, P4. Oh, we're down to P5. Okay. And it looks like P1 is running medium. Good strategy. Definitely going to be a good strategy. P2 hasn't decided what they're going to what they're going to use. P3 is running. Okay. Their fuel. Okay, good, good, good strategy. P4 is running mediums with 10 laps of fuel, so they might a little be slower. That's too much fuel. Let's go ahead and get our fuel down to nine and run our medium. And so what I noticed too is that when you're picking your fuel, there is nine, nine and a half, and then ten. There's a like a there's an extra click before you get to the next full lap worth of uh, fuel. So you really want to go eight and then one more click before you get to nine, and that's where you really want to have your end your your um, your your fuel but for me I went to the nine and a half mark because I know we're gonna be doing a lot of spirit of driving here so we might need to have more fuel down the line this is an eight lap race eight laps in you're gonna probably run out of gas by lap eight around the last turn so an extra an extra quarter or an extra half gallon of gasoline is good all right and we're off Always watch out for the uh, the turn one demons. This is still Forza, by the way. So, turn one demons. We got the inside line on number on, on P4. So, we will politely take P4. We're gonna just there. We go. Nicely done. Nicely done. Holding P4. No accidents. No uh, no injuries. No penalties. A perfect race so far. Now remember, I think P1 is running softs, so they will initially take a bit of a of a tumble. And as long as we can hold position here, I think we'll be okay. Always use draft. This game has draft and it works really well. So always try to keep in that draft because you're going to pick up some performance. Uh oh, here we go. We already have some argy bargy going on there. And looks like we just lost somebody to a little bump. No penalties were given for that. Interesting. Even though somebody was forced off the race line, no penalties were given. People are complaining that the penalty system is lacking, and I can agree. There are some incidents where a penalty definitely would be due, and nobody gets... All right, there we go. Looks like they got a penalty, though, not for what happened initially, because they were the victim there. Let's see if we can get around um, dark right here. Our goal here is to definitely make podium and see how far into the podium we can go. We know somebody's going to be dropping off in terms of tire wear, so let's just stick with the pack as much as you can. Um, the deeper you get into a race, the more incidents tend to happen, so just try to stick with the pack as much as you can. I'm playing on a controller, by the way. I don't have a wheel set up, so if you're wondering you know, what I'm doing to stay competitive, this is what I'm using as a controller. A total beach controller at that, so it's pretty sturdy. 
has some really nice force feedback into it. And Dark might be on his way out because they are getting slippery and they're not staying on the race line as much. So let's see. Let's get them to let's pick, let's get them to do some uh, a couple mistakes in turns two and three, and hopefully we can take advantage of their uh, inability to stay on the course. Alright, there's mistake number one. Wait for them to make mistake number two. Definitely uh, feathering the brake there to not make any contact. that was really cheeky that was really cheeky of us to dive into that corner like that but their tires are starting to drop so I think anybody in front of me now is running mediums so it's gonna be all down to driving technique if I intend to catch uh, P2 right now But not bad though, from P5 to P3, not bad. Holding our own, we're, we're definitely separating ourselves from Dark who is now in P4. They're gonna probably try to lunge. So let's get out of the way before they, they make that lunge. There they are, they're still, they're still on our ass, man. But luckily, I'm pretty sure their tires are on the way out so we can just run them off the off our tail here and even if they pass us they have a one second penalty so I'm not really worried even if they catch us a one second penalty is still gonna drop them down to P4 so I'm not gonna really protect this position as much because a one second penalty is going to give me the win anyway. Final lap. And looks like they just un unalive themselves because they are nowhere to be seen on the track now. Um, P4, who was dark, has disappeared off the game unless they rage quit. But final lap, one lap of fuel left. Our, our 
front right tire has more uh, wear than our front left tire. It could be because of the, the bumps and the curves we've been running over lately. But yeah, there you go. There is a race strategy in terms of performance, in terms of qualifying, seeing where your tires are per race, per track. Do these and you should have a much more enjoyable time in Forza Motorsport. I'm loving these uh, end of race cutscene. They're not, like I said, they're not like F1 2023, but it's nice to see that Forza is getting with the times and doing more of a celebration cutscene end to their races as, instead of just being a bunch of menus. This is always nice to see. I'm glad they're doing more of this. Hopefully we get more additions and more further updates, but yeah, there you go. So we not only improve the visual fidelity of the game by using reshaders but we also were able to put together a cool race strategy and go online and use it all right so there you have it there is your race strategy do this across all these games remember you want to qualify if you want to reverse the order in terms of practice and qualifying just remember that you do need to qualify to get your race position sometimes people forget and they'll spend all their time in practice and they'll never do qualifying and then they'll end up in the back of the field. So do qualifying first so you don't forget it. And then you can go into practice and test out your tire setups and your performance setups and your tuning. And uh, yeah, have fun. Forza Motorsport, when the game isn't running like dog shit, is actually really good on PC. But it's still missing some really key features that we've had in previous Forzas. And we're making a video to compare Forza Motorsport 7 to Forza Motorsport 2023 and see what and how many features we've lost over the last five or six years of development. Until then, it's your boy Yagi. I'll catch you guys on the track next time. Peace.